Hello, chat. While everybody um, gets settled in, I hope you're all doing okay. I have uh, the Kirby trailer, which I haven't watched yet. I think I saw 10 seconds of it. And I'm really, I'm really curious about this because... It's coming out in March, which is kind of like soon. And this game is actually way more exciting to me than um, any of the 2D Kirby games because we've just played so many of them. They're good, but this one, this one's a little different. So before I do some Mario 64, I want to check out the trailer. Also, thank you for the tech support. A, a bunch of people, I see you. Uh, People have deduced that perhaps it is my RAM that is a problem. So I'm going to look into that. Let's take a look at Kirby. Well, it's definitely Kirby and it's bright and colorful. So here's bomb ability. It's wind ability. This the gameplay looks really smooth and the graphics look really nice. I mean, we're five years into the Switch anyway, so developers are definitely using it better. This is really exactly what I wanted from Kirby. Without even knowing I wanted it. Oh no, Waddle Waddle D. So wait, was that friendship? Some kind of fr oh there's there's a town? You can- oh, there's mini-games. There's fishing. Okay, that's been a meme. The fishing has been a meme. And people are like, what do you think Kirby's got on the line? I know what- I know what Kirby's got. Kirby's got a shrimp. Look at that. There it is. Today's top trend is sword. Oh, okay, so there's like little, uh, ball game? What is it called? <laughs> ball machine? Oh, drill? Okay, that's cool. Because, yeah, you can do new things now with 3D. Gun? How has gun not been in a Kirby game before? And we got Meta Knight. Oh man. This looks great. And it's only like two months away. Two months and ten days or so. That honestly. What a surprise. Like, first of all, gun looks awesome. Someone said it looks a million times better than Pokemon. Yeah, I mean they're to be fair to Pokemon, even though Legends Arceus looks like hot garbage visually. It is going for a different kind of thing. This is a 3D level based game, it looks like, which I think is a great move. There's more freedom for sure, but when you have a game like this, I think you're probably going to want um, some more focus. I don't think they're doing open world Kirby, but okay, to be fair to Pokemon, the new trailer did look a little bit better. But yeah, visually, it's it's doing a different thing, which is this giant open world. Now, to me, for a company that has that much money and has made that many games, there really shouldn't be an excuse. But then again, they have to pump out games. This is their big experimental game. I'm talking about Pokemon and not Kirby. The, so yeah, it doesn't look great. It doesn't look great, but it's a big open world game. And it would be nice if they spent more time polishing it and getting some talent on it because this Arceus game really could have been something special. Maybe it'll be great. I don't know. I mean, it hasn't come out yet. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make with this Kirby game here is this looks awesome. It's a different type of game. It kind of reminds me of Mario 3D World a little bit. That gun ability is fantastic. Um, it looks like it takes place on Earth, but why? Well, you remember Kirby 64, right? Kirby 64 did some interesting things with Earth. It was frozen. 
Um, I don't know. I kind of Nintendo leans into this a lot. Nintendo likes to do the um, like cute, like for everybody type game, and then you find out that the world it takes place on is our own ruined world. Fucking Kirby does it. Pikmin does it. I'm sure there's other Splatoon. It's a huge example. Split. So I think um, the setting is cool. And I'm hoping they delve into the lore a little bit. But it looks like we might get that. It looks like they're going a little deeper than the usual Kirby game. And uh, I think mini games in a town and all that stuff. I, I don't want to get too hyped because, the, you know, that's never good because then you get disappointed. It's, it's good to be a little disappointed in everything and that way you can be appointed later. But this looks like it could be a new leaf for Kirby games. Like, to me, this, this looks like um, a new start. A-N-U-S-T-A-R-T. And apparently this has got uh, co-op. I was going to say Kerbop. So uh, while I'm playing this trailer several more times, I just want to talk a little bit more about Kirby for a minute. My history with Kirby is I played Kirby's Dream Land and then I rented the one for the Nintendo. But Kirby's Dream Land I played a million times. Um, recently, I think Planet Robobot might have been my favorite because I like the theming of it and it had some cool abilities. Um, Return to Dream Land was really good. Star Allies was cool. I don't know why that game wasn't a little bit more ambitious, but this is the more ambitious version of that. And um, I'm glad that, that they decided to try a brand new thing. It's not very often that a Nintendo franchise goes from a side-scroller into th full 3D. I mean, we had this happen with Metroid. We had this happen with, um, you know, Metroid Prime was, God, how long ago? Uh, Kid Icarus was probably the most recent one. Obviously Mario, which you'll be seeing in a moment with Mario 64. Just your stock standard Mario 64. Uh, Fire Emblem is very similar. Zelda has done it. But one, one thing I do like is that with Nintendo's franchises, they can go back. Like, they did Dong 64, and then when Retro got it, they were like, just do Donkey Kong Country again. So they could always do smaller Kirby experiences that are like... Um, Planet Robobot and Triple Deluxe. And then they can do stuff like this now. If this is good, I hope it is. But Mario is the perfect example. Mario has so many styles. You've got the Odyssey style, which is the 64 style. You've got a hybrid of that and like 3D World, which is like Galaxy. Um, then you have 2D and you have a couple different 2D styles. So, but Mario has a million spin-offs. Kirby while there are a million Kirby games, it's less spin-off-y, even though there is, like, Star Ride, and um, there's, like, a Kirby fighting game. But here's what I will say about Kirby. Even though they've tried, they've done Kirbyvania, they've done, you know, straightforward just platformers, they usually don't make shitty Kirby games. Air Ride, sorry. Air Ride. <laughs> Uh, Ca Canvas Curse, they, you know, when the touchscreen stuff and motion was more a thing, they tried a couple things with Kirby and Yoshi. But, uh, you know, Kirby games are usually not bad. This, to me, seems like the one that has the, the most chance of uh, it differing from the formula. And it looks great. This trailer looks great. The previous trailer looks great. These environments are really cool. Like, this... Even this desert area. We've seen deserts in video games a million times. This looks really cool. There's like street lights that are, you know, buried in sand dunes. There's Shai Halud. There's, um, I don't know, some kind of complex. Is that a convention center? I don't even know. So you've got Meta Knight. You've got um, Carnival. I don't know what this is. City. Tropical. It's like the, you know, the tree that you fight. I forget its name, but tropical, tropical freeze. There's ice. Where, where was the ice environ? There's gun. Oh, wispy woods. Yes. There's this right here. And again, streetlights. So 
Yeah, frozen flags. There's like bricks. So it looks like it takes place on Earth, like chat member said earlier. And yet this particular like game is still also this. <laughs> it's like, what's happening here? And um, I guess what I learned from this trailer is the new abilities look awesome. How to use them in 3D looks very good. I'm so happy I can play this game with a thumbstick and not uh, like Metroid Other M with a D-pad. Okay. The um, Bandana D is back with a spear and I, Bandana D could have been the final Smash character and I would have been happy with that. And um, I think the mini games and the town were the biggest surprise of this trailer. And I can't wait to see what you can like do in this town. And um, also, I want to see how the other mini games lead to any kind of progression. Like you give tomatoes to little waddle -dees. It's It's very nice. It's very, very cute. Can't wait. I can't wait. This looks fantastic. So anyway, that's my thoughts. Um, my reservations, just to be fair, because I'm being very complimentary, is only because it's going into 3D with full 3D movement. And so I'm just kind of wondering what that's going to be like. Is it going to have the same Kirby charm? How much can you float? Because that's another thing. Kirby's like just busted. Most powerful being in the universe and can fly a lot so limit on flight is good but um and that and also another thing the kirby games are, are famous for are secrets so i'm wondering how they're going to handle secrets are they going to do like medallions are they going to have things that you can find that like you collect i don't know i'm excited It looks more like 3D land than true 3D. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said before. Like, it's less Mario 64 and more 3D land. But hey, I'm all for it. Anyway, I'll be playing it when it comes out. I will pause for lore. So that's Kirby. Kirby.